my god. All right, all right, last one, I swear, last one. Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Hala. Uh, YouTube 101, that's a small tip. Uh, never film a video not at night because <laughs> I have been yawning for the past 10 hours. Honestly, this, these two weeks have been so crazy. We've been finalizing the report cards and preparing for our spring break. So yes, I'm actually filming this video during the week at 9 p.m. And I literally feel like I'm gonna sleep. Anyways, so um, yeah, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're gonna learn how to use MindMeister. What is MindMeister? MindMeister, obviously, it's a tool that we can use for mind mapping or brainstorming our ideas. So you can use it in two different ways. Either you can, uh, if you want your student to share all of their ideas on the same platform, you can use it and they can add their ideas at the same time. It is kind of similar to concept board and or you, and or, or you can uh, just use it to create an individual activity for each student. So to start with, we're gonna go to www.mindmeister.com, press sign up, write your name and family name, write your email, your password, click on the terms if you agree, and then sign up. This is very interesting because they're asking you now, where do you want, where do you plan on using this MindMeister? Are you gonna use it for a team startup? Are you gonna use it for a business? Are you gonna use it for a large company? Are you going to use it for personal and home or for education? So you have the freedom to choose. Of course, we're gonna choose education. Like all other online tools, you decide if you want to choose a template that is already there and you edit it, or you decide if you wanna choose or create your own. So you see here all these templates that you have. You have like organizational charts, aligned mind maps, brainstorming. You have mind maps for note taking, to-do list, getting things done, and even life plans. I'm gonna show you one of them, which is life plan. So as you can see, this is a template that has been already created for you. You can add details to it by writing on it. So if you wanna write on it, all you have to do is just press on the box that you want to write. So let's say you want to write about your hobbies. What are your hobbies in life? You press the uh, add button and then you add your hobbies there. Let's say if you want to add in the education part, you press on the education box and then press the add button and you can add whatever information you want. This is just a quick template. We are going to create our own. This is why I'm not going to focus on this. So we are going to use the brainstorming format. Since I think we're all uh, at a certain point in our life struggle with our mental health and for me this is something crucial and I really take my mental health seriously except for these two weeks but I, I really do. So I thought maybe we can do our activity about mental health and how should we take care of it. So this is the uh, brainstorming template that we're gonna use in order to add ideas about how to take care of our mental health. So let's say we are working with our students on that uh, specific topic and you want them to add ideas during your online session and on a platform where they can all see their answers. MindMeister is the key. Man, I should be paid for this. Whenever we want to add ideas, all we have to do is just press on the add button. Let's say our first idea would be I should exercise every day or at least move my body every day. So another student can add another idea here. Let's say they were gonna, will write have enough hours of sleep. And then there's this student who wants to build on this idea in particular, not on the main idea, which is how to take care of my mental health. All they need to do is just select this box and then press on the add button and write their sentence. So let's say they write half minimum eight hours of sleep. So it will be visible next to this idea, not the main idea. A third student might write build healthy habits and routines and then maybe other students wants to be more specific and give examples so they can write reading every day, uh, learning new languages. 
By the way, these are like real examples. We're not just making them up. So for those who are uh, struggling with their mental health, I do advise you to read every day, learn a new language, try something new, learn a new skill, exercise, try your best to exercise every day, meditate. Not We're not exercising for the sake of exercising, just to move your bodies because moving your bodies will help you feel more energized, help you release all the stress that you have. I just feel right now like I'm a life coach. I'm not. Just thought of sharing that with you. Also, we can write, meditate, practice mindfulness, uh, practice deep breathing every now and then. So you can change the font, the color, uh, the size, uh, even the shape of the cloud, the color of the cloud. This is the most important thing about these tools because they are differentiated by nature. So using this tool, you can add images, you can add links, you can add videos, you can add text. So in this way, you are targeting all the needs of your learners. So if you want to add a video, you just press on this video button and you can write a small instruction, watch a video about mental health, press on browse video, you can either add a URL, you can either add a title from YouTube. We're gonna paste a URL from YouTube about mental health so they can also watch a video about mental health without leaving this tool. While on it, they can do that. Now, this is actually very cool. If somebody wrote something that I find interesting or another student found interesting or maybe something they don't agree with or they agree with, they can actually express that by writing a comment. So in this comment, they can either add emojis to express how they felt or they can vote whether they agree or disagree. And as you can see next to each comment, these tiny circles will appear. So if you want to connect ideas together or if you want to map these ideas together, you can press on this arrow that looks like a rainbow and you can drag it from one uh, box to another so you can show the connection between them. You can also add images, but this is the downside of it. If you want to add images, if you want to upload images or just drag them, you cannot do that. You have to pay. Uh, the only thing that you can do is uh, browse images that are found on my Meister and they're like not that cool. But other than that, I think it's great. So another thing, if you want to turn this into a presentation, you can do that. So when they are all done and you want to present it or you want to post it somewhere that they can always refer back to it and visit it, you can turn it into a presentation. So as you see here, this is slide one. So now we know that the presentation will start with showing us how to take care of my mental health. So if you notice, these slides are transparent with a number on them. All you have to do is drag them and put them on the box or on the cell that you want to highlight. And then you can choose the transition if you want it fast zoom, slow zoom. I choose pan usually, which is uh, the normal one. Now make sure you press on slide one so that it begins from the beginning and press on start slideshow. And this is how it appeared. It makes things very, very clear. Now, if you want to share this with your students, what are you going to do? Of course, you can either share the link by pressing on copy link and you can share the link with them on whatever platform you are using, or you can invite them by sending invitation to their emails. So you can just type their emails and invite them. Make sure when you are inviting people, you choose whether you want them to edit or view it only. Uh, one thing I want to tell you, there is a specific amount of maps that you can create and I think you can only create up till three or four, not sure, but after that, then you have to upgrade and pay. I wouldn't say this is my favorite tool, honestly. Uh, I love it so much. I think it's user friendly and it's easy to use, especially for kids, but because of the upgrade thingy, I think that you have a lot of restrictions and limitations. So you don't really have the option to do whatever you want, unlike concept board. Concept board is you can sign up for free and then you can also use it and create as much boards as you want without actually having to upgrade. So that's it. Before we wrap up our video for today, I just wanna share with you something that a couple of educators slash teachers uh, sent me some messages asking me if um, I can talk about a lot of things 
some of them are really important and some of them are mostly related to what I do as a PYP teacher. So like what is PYP, what is IB, International Baccalaureate, how do we teach in a student-centered environment, uh, what is inquiry-based learning and a lot of other topics. So I decided to stop filming videos about online tools for the time being because I'm really excited to switch and share with you different topics. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna come back to this because there are plenty of online tools that I haven't covered yet and I want to talk about them and share them with you but I think also it's important to um, for you to get to know me better on like really how do I teach and what are some teaching strategies that can help you improve your teaching so I'm so excited to film the new content and to share it with you. If you're really interested to learn more about all the topics that I just mentioned and uh, to, to learn more about education in general, do not forget to like my videos, subscribe and share them with your colleagues, your friends, all the people you think they might benefit uh, from these videos. Thank you. Bye.